Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little wood burning oven out of two number 10 cans. Alright, thanks for coming back. Uh, I'm going to show you this, this is a little idea I had the other day. Um, I wanted to put together a little wood burning oven and see if I could do it as cheaply as possible. Um, we're going to try and bake some bread in this some bannock bread. This is a little uh, thing I came up with. It's two number 10 cans, one screwed into the other. This one was cut on both sides, top and bottom were removed and cut down the middle and just spread out. So you have that spread out on the bottom as a base for your wood. This on the top here was screwed in. And I put some rocks, I'll probably put a little bit more in there too before I fire this up to retain the heat and a little plate to keep everything from burning, a little steel plate. And a little piece of metal I bent here to hold this in. And this on top, oop, popped it right off. This on top comes down here and we'll keep it in place. I gotta find that piece. Eventually I'm gonna screw this bottom piece in because as you see, it doesn't like to hang out if it's not in there correctly. There we go. So we're going to try and bake some bannock bread with it and see if it'll reach temperature. I'm not sure. I haven't tested it yet. So we're going to give it a try. And I'll be back once we get the fire going. All right, so we got a fire going in there. Um, it doesn't feel hot in here yet. It's still cold, but I just started it. Um, what we're going to try to do today, i got a little pan here with some olive oil in it. I'm going to move that olive oil all around. Spread it around in there. I'm going to cook up some pre-made bannock mix that I had. Throw that in the fire. I hope it burns. <laughs> A little pre-made bannock mix that I put together. I'm going to try and toss it in here. Nice and thin. And I'm not really sure if this is going to work or not, but we're going to give it a try. Took about half of it. I'll show you on camera here. I'm just going to stick it in there and see if it'll bake. I've got to get this up to temperature first. Um, it's going to probably take a little while. So uh, then we'll toss this in there and see how it goes. And I'll be back once we're up to temperature and uh, give you updates okay, as so it goes. some wood here. It's probably been going for about five minutes. I did notice this gets very hot, but kind of expected that. Um, so I'll probably need some kind of something to cover my finger when I pick it up, pick it up off there. Just open it up, take a look at it. And I'm just chopping up some wood here. It does go through wood rather quickly. It's also very windy today, so I suspect that's some of the issue. Um, but it's a small enough fire where it's not really any kind of danger to anything. There we go. Got some more wood in there. So the top of the can is hot now. Yeah, it's hot to the touch. So we're getting somewhere with it. Um, see how well this works. I've probably burned the bottom of the bannock bread, but uh, we'll see. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll work pretty good. This is its first shot, so if it doesn't work, you'll get to experience it live. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. It's getting a little windy, so it's burning through a lot of wood quickly. And that's one thing that I've noticed is uh, with a smaller fire like this, you're going to have to feed it more often. <laughs> But uh, the inside temperature seems to be getting pretty warm. I noticed the bread started to, uh, I don't want to open it now, but the bread started to be rising a little bit. So we'll see. I'll come back when uh, we get some results. Talk to you guys in a few. All right, so we've been going about, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe. Uh, I'm giving you a look inside. I took the front off so you could take a look. It's definitely too hot to touch in there. But you can see the bread in there. It's starting to puff up a bit. And this isn't a quick process by any means, um, and it does take a lot of wood. I've been chopping up wood and keeping the fire going pretty much as long as this has been going on. Um, but it does work in a pinch, so I'll come back when it's all completed. All right, so we're still chugging away here about, uh, I don't know, half an hour into it. And I got a nice little fire going in there. It seems to, um, when I opened it up last, it seems to be setting up. Again, bannock bread probably isn't the best kind of thing to do with this because you want to really fry it more than bake it. But I figured it's an easy thing to throw together. Um, probably want something more to test this that will rise, so I'll probably do biscuits in it next. 
But for now, it seems to be working pretty well. I've been chopping up firewood over here and tossing it in. Trying not to bump the camera while I do this. Uh, so, it seems to be chugging along. Um, probably takes a little bit longer than uh, a regular kind of oven, but you know, this is something you make with uh, just the stuff you find on the side of the road. So anyway, we'll be back with the finished product. All right, bread's out. It's been about uh, an hour. Um, I let it sit. I let the fire burn down. I let it sit. I let it just sit in there for a while. The rocks are still too hot to touch. I did pull the metal sheet out because I thought the metal sheet was kind of um, blocking the heat. And another weak part of this design so far is this bottom piece. I'm going to have to screw that in because it kept popping out. But there's the empty pan, and it fell right out because I put... Uh, Lots of uh, olive oil on it. And here's the bannock bread. Little side, I didn't flip it, so of course that side isn't that well cooked, but let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Darn good. And this was the part that was towards the back, the part that's burned, and the part that's toward the front. So, there's some engineering work still to be done here. But as you can tell, in a pinch, that'll cook you a nice big, thick, chunk of bannock bread. That's nice and warm. Mmm, excuse me. <laughs> what it needs is some butter. <laughs> well, anyway, that's the design. And I really didn't think it was going to work, so I didn't bother doing a build video on it. <laughs> but I figured I'd uh, videotape it and see if it did work. And it turns out it did work pretty well. So I think I'm going to modify my design on that a little bit. And, uh, Definitely keep that piece of steel out that was kind of insulating the heat from moving around. Maybe a little more rock coverage in the bottom. A um, little bit bigger arch there for a burn down here. Um, but, you know, I just used two cans, but I definitely used something a little bit bigger next time. And we'll come back and try it again. But the idea of baking in just this did work. As you can tell. And also next time we'll try something like... Uh, Something that will rise with yeast in it. <laughs> you know, biscuits, uh, something different. Um, obviously, this could heat up food. You know, if you had something that was left over and you wanted to warm it up. I mean, I can't even pick up those rocks, so it's more than hot enough. But anyway, thanks for joining me today. In about an hour, I was able to go from some raw dough to some tasty bread here. And uh, it's fully cooked all the way through, even the side that doesn't look cooked. That's fully, that's fully cooked. Let's... Yep, fully cooked through. So thanks for joining me today, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.